In this video, we'll be comparing 16, 32, and 64 gigs of RAM when it comes to performance in your Adobe products like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and Lightroom. As well, I'll give you a few tips and tricks to make sure your programs are running as efficiently as possible. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we're jumping right into our comparison here between our 16, 32, and 64 gigs of RAM when it comes to photo and video editing. And I'll just start off by saying, what RAM does is it lets you multitask better. It's gonna let you have more programs open to be more efficient at any given time. As well, it's gonna speed some rendering time up a little bit for you, depending on how much you have. Now you don't need an overly huge amount of RAM if you're not doing photo and video editing, if you're gaming. Usually 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM is gonna be sufficient for the average person, but if you are getting into heavy photo and video, 4K and whatnot editing, then yeah, you might wanna think about 32 and even 64 gigs of RAM in some cases. So let's get started here. Let's dive in and check out some of these tests that I've run for you so that you can see the differences and determine whether or not you should be upgrading. Let's go. Okay, so jumping in, I wanted to show you the specs of my computer really quick. This is my primary workstation. I do mostly photo and video editing on here, but I do play the occasional game once in a while. So as far as processor goes, I have an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, which is an eight core processor. So this is gonna be a great processor, probably one of the best value for money processors out there right now, if you ask me. It's not nearly the best, but it's definitely not the worst either. It's gonna be great for all around use. As you can see here, I've got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM installed, and this is the 3200 megahertz version. Although, depending on your needs, you can get other speeds of RAM as well. And for graphics card, I'm using a GeForce GTX 1080. So in Premiere Pro, your graphics card isn't gonna make too much of a difference when it comes to rendering. That's more of your processor, but today we're concentrating on RAM to see how much of a difference that's gonna make. Let's get into the test. Okay, so here's our first test. We're rendering with 16 gigs of RAM, and all of these tests is the same 12 minute 4K file with a target bitrate of 110. So this should be fairly intensive for the computer, and let's see how it does. Here for the sake of time, I've sped it up 10 times, and I have to say that 16 gigs of RAM for the average person is more than enough. Of course, more is nicer, but it's also more expensive. So in case every second counts or you're doing a lot of multitasking with a lot of windows open and programs running, 16 is gonna be pretty much sufficient for the average person. I'm guilty of leaving browsers and programs open and there's a lot of times that I need multiple programs open like Photoshop and Lightroom together. And that's one area that you're gonna notice a huge performance difference when it comes to RAM. And again, I've jumped to the end here for the sake of time. Altogether with 16 gigs of RAM, this file was rendered in a time of 33 minutes and 47 seconds. And that's really meaningless without a comparison, so let's jump right into 32 gigs. And here we are in our second test with 32 gigs, same exact file, same exact settings. Let's hit it. Now honestly, this is gonna be where you're gonna notice the biggest difference from the upgrade from 16 to 32 gigabytes or it was for me anyway. You can see the utilization when rendering, going from nearly 100% memory with 16 gigs to about 60% with 32 gigs. But again, the most notable differences are gonna be when you're using multiple programs at once. So what did the render time look like with 32 gigabytes? Well, the same file rendered in 30 minutes and 41 seconds, which is three minutes and six seconds faster. Not bad. So having seen that, let's compare it to what 64 gigs looks like. Okay, so 64 gigabytes this time. Same file, same process. Let's see what happens. Once again, you'll see a big difference in the utilization of RAM, this time dropping to around 30% on average when rendering, compared to about 60% with 32 gigs and almost 100 with 16. Also with 64 gigs, I noticed that my computer as a whole is just beautifully smooth in pretty much everything that I do. So let's get down to it. What was the speed when it comes to rendering the same file with 64 gigabytes? 28 minutes and 41 seconds. That's five minutes and six seconds faster than having 16 gigs. 
and two minutes faster than having 32 gigs. So overall, RAM's a nice little upgrade that really doesn't break the bank in most cases. Sure, there's lots of different colors and speeds and types and whatnot, and that's gonna be up to you to research which one's gonna be best for your computer. And depending on your motherboard and processor, different combinations of RAM are gonna work better as well. A rule of thumb is you're gonna want as little sticks of RAM as possible, just because of the physical characteristics. It's easier for your computer to access, say, two sticks of 16 gigabytes than four sticks of eight gigabytes. But I won't get into all that in this video. And finally, I've said it before, but make sure you close as many background processes and programs as possible. This is really gonna to help to speed up your workflow and just make your overall experience more enjoyable. So if your computer is struggling with performance and you're getting frustrated, just go ahead and open up your task manager, like you see here in my case. And I've got Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, as well as a bunch of internet tabs open, and I'm still only utilizing a fraction of my RAM. Of course, everybody's gonna have different needs, and I hope these tests just open your eyes to show you what you can expect. So what do I recommend for you? Well, that depends on your needs, of course, but if you're just the average person who does a little bit of gaming, as well as some basic photo and video edits, 16 gigabytes should be sufficient. If you wanna take it to the next level, and you know you're gonna be using programs that are very demanding, and you don't wanna be pulling your hair out, maybe go for 32 gigs. And if you're a hardcore professional or a creator that uses a lot of demanding programs at once, consider going with 64 gigs or more. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this comparison between RAM performance as well as some of those tips and tricks that I hope were helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, if it did help you out, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And I'll drop affiliate links down below for the RAM if you wanted to pick some of that up. Like always guys, if you have any ideas or you wanna see more videos just like this, drop them in the comments. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.